Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, and a renowned entrepreneur, concluded a tumultuous journey in acquiring Twitter. Musk faced resistance, legal battles, and uncertainties throughout the process. The $44 billion deal made Musk the largest shareholder and the CEO of social media giant. Stay tuned with us as we traverse through the tumultuous Twitter takeover by Elon Musk and discuss the challenges and future of one of the largest social media giant of our age. Musk's interest in Twitter had been evident for years. He announced the acquisition of a 9.2% stake in Twitter in April 2022 after conversations with co-founder Jack Dorsey and Twitter's executives. This announcement sparked a surge in the company's stock price. Initially accepting an invitation to join Twitter's board, Musk later declined and expressed criticism of the company through tweets, revealing his intention to take Twitter private. We make five-minute videos on current issues, Support us through your likes, share, and subscribe our channel as well. The unsolicited offer by Musk to acquire Twitter for $44 billion was viewed as a hostile takeover attempt, and the board responded by announcing a poison pill strategy to deter the acquisition. However, prominent shareholders pushed for Musk's bid to be considered, which resulted in negotiations and the eventual approval of the purchase. Musk obtained funding and went through regulatory and shareholder approval requirements. Despite progress, complications arose when Musk raised concerns about spam bot accounts on Twitter. The acquisition was put on hold temporarily, leading to tensions between Musk and Twitter's executives. Musk demanded user data from Twitter and threatened to terminate the agreement, prompting Twitter to file new documents with the SEC and affirm their commitment to the merger agreement. Amidst investigations, demands for information, and a whistleblower complaint, the trial dates were proposed, and the lawsuit between Musk and Twitter commenced in October 2022. Musk initially intended to terminate the acquisition due to material breaches but changed his mind and proceeded with the deal, contingent on Twitter dropping the lawsuit. The acquisition deal was finalized on October 27, 2022, with Musk becoming Twitter's new owner and CEO. He promptly fired several top executives, implemented reforms, and merged the company with X Holdings, creating a new entity called X Corp. Musk's policy changes and relaxed approach to content moderation drew criticism and led to employee departures. Musk's ownership of Twitter was met with mixed reactions. While some praised his emphasis on free speech, others expressed concerns about increased disinformation and harassment politicians, advocacy groups, and commentators had diverse views on the acquisition, with Republicans supporting it as a restoration of free speech and Democrats criticizing it. Conservative commentators celebrated the acquisition's closure, hoping for a reshaping of American political discourse. Scholars and civil rights groups warned of potential increases in disinformation and harassment under Musk's leadership, calling for caution and advertiser boycotts. Throughout the acquisition journey, Musk faced legal battles, financial scrutiny, and challenges from within Twitter. The closure of the deal marked the end of an intense and controversial process that had significant implications for both Musk and Twitter. In response to the concerns raised by the acquisition, Musk announced a series of policy changes aimed at addressing the platform's challenges. One of the significant changes implemented by Musk was a relaxation of content moderation rules, he believed that Twitter should not act as an arbiter of truth and that users should have the freedom to express themselves, even if their views were controversial or unpopular. This move was met with both support and criticism, with proponents arguing for the preservation of free speech and detractors expressing concerns about the spread of harmful content. Additionally, Musk introduced a decentralized moderation system on Twitter, allowing users to collectively flag and assess the appropriateness of content. This initiative aimed to distribute the responsibility of content moderation across the user base and reduce the influence of a centralized authority. While this approach was applauded for promoting user engagement, there were doubts about its effectiveness in curbing harmful content effectively. Musk also extended changes to the advertising policies on Twitter, 
He sought to create a more transparent advertising ecosystem by introducing stricter guidelines to prevent the spread of false or misleading information through ads. Likewise, Musk also announced a general amnesty for suspended Twitter accounts. This decision raised concerns about the potential resurgence of super-spreaders of hate on the platform. Among the suspended accounts were prominent figures, such as Steve Bannon, Katie Hopkins, and David Duke. The chain of events began when Musk conducted a poll on Twitter, proclaiming that Trump will be reinstated. With 51.8% of users voting in favor, Musk promptly reinstated Trump's account. However, Trump expressed little interest in returning to Twitter, focusing on his own platform, Truth Social. Although Truth Social boasted approximately 2 million active users, it paled in comparison to Twitter's vast user base of over 1.3 billion accounts. Despite the challenges, Twitter secured an agreement with Apple CEO Tim Cook to ensure its continued presence in the App Store. However, turning Twitter's fortunes around will not be easy. The hesitation of Trump, the departure of advertisers, and the need to compensate dismissed employees all negatively impact the platform's financial standing. The question now looms, what does the future hold for Twitter? Can it continue as an indispensable platform for global public discourse but struggle to monetize, or can it transform into a lucrative venture like other Silicon Valley innovations? Twitter's key metric, monetizable daily active users, stands at 237.8 million in the second quarter of 2022, significantly lower than its total user base. The exit of celebrities and advertisers poses challenges for the platform. General Motors, Audi, Pfizer, and others have suspended their ads on Twitter, while civil rights activists urge more companies to follow suit. With Musk's ownership, Twitter has undergone significant changes, including job cuts, executive reshuffling, alterations to verification and content moderation, and potential introductions of different content tiers and video charging. Maintaining advertiser support will be crucial for Twitter's financial stability in the face of these changes. Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter marked a significant turning point for the platform, with far-reaching consequences for its users, employees, and the broader societal discourse. The impact of Musk's ownership and policy changes will continue to shape the platform's evolution and fuel discussions about the roles and responsibilities of social media giants in our digital age. As the platform navigates its path forward, striking the delicate balance between freedom of expression and responsible content moderation will be critical. The future of Twitter evolution will be closely watched and analyzed as society grapples with the complexities of the digital age. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.